Hello, everybody. Today, OKR is considered a powerful framework that helps you achieve your most ambitious business goals. This framework syncs to processes and teamwork, so each employee understands what to do and how his work affects the global goals. This guide will help you to know how to install and use OKR Board for Jira. Just follow the steps within this video and you'll manage how to use it in your company. So, let's start. Ready to use native Jira integration. Turns OKR Board into a powerful OKR management plugin that integrates easily into your Jira and daily work with many benefits. One login and password for Jira and OKR tool. Use Jira Epic or Story as a key result. The status of objective and key results can be updated automatically based on the Jira issue status. Embed interactive OKR gadget into a Confluence page and share it with your teammates. Create the cross-project portfolio roadmap with OKRs. Visualize goals for the entire company across projects in Jira. Search for your OKR-related issues in Jira with the most flexible way through JQL. Now, let's move on to workspaces. The logic is similar to Jira projects. You can create private workspaces and invite certain people there to track OKRs. The main idea is to have private spaces for different teams to manage their OKRs separately. To create or manage a workspace, find the down arrow in the top left corner and select the appropriate command. The workspace can be private or public. There are several approaches to use workspace. For small companies, for big companies, for private OKRs, all objectives can be aligned with objectives from any workspace and interval. After creating workspace, we need to create business groups. The business group should represent the organizational structure of your company, department, or business unit that will use this workspace. To do it, go to setting in the top right corner and find the create group command. Create a name for the group, for example, customer success, and add users. There, you have three options. Add specific users, pull users from the JIRA group only once, or sync this business group with the JIRA group. In this case, your group will always be synced with your JIRA group. Toggle synchronization can disable or enable this feature. After adding groups and users, we need to set roles for users. You may choose one of the five roles, read-only role, user without delete permission, user, a person who can edit only OKRs assigned to this user, team lead, a person who can edit any OKRs assigned to this team, workspace admin, a person who can do everything within this workspace. And also, we have an additional role of administrator, the person who can do everything within the OKR board app. OKRs help you achieve the right goals in a systematic way because they work in cycles. The most common business cycles are annual. This long-term vision will serve as the basis for prioritizing your business over the next 12 months. Annual OKRs can be broken down into quarterly OKRs or tactical cycle. In the OKR board, you can create a cycle for any period of time, year, quarter, month, etc. To do it, find the list of cycles in the top left corner, then select Manage Cycles. Click the Create Cycle button in the upper right-hand corner. Create a title, select a time period, set a start and the end date, and confirm your actions. If the cycle is over, you can move it to archive status and freeze the grades for future retrospective sessions. Now, let's understand objectives and key results in the OKR board app. Home screen gives you a quick view on OKR you own, you are a stakeholder, and the statistics of your team or select the team or person you're interested in checking on and see OKRs that belong to them. By default, there are three types of objectives, company, group, and personal. But you can customize and add more levels or edit default levels if needed. All objectives can be aligned with objectives from any workspace and interval. 
Each objective can have only one parent objective and multiple KRs, JIRA issues, and child objectives. The status of OKRs can be updated automatically based on progress and timeline. If you decide to change the default value, you can select the different confidence level manually. Drill through report of progress, check how child objective, key result, or JIRA issues contribute to the parent item. You can create your custom key result and use JIRA issue as a key action, or use JIRA issue as a key result. On JIRA, we connect any type of issue, initiatives, epics, user stories, and tasks. Their relationship depends on their size, how long they take, and their goals. If you use JIRA EPIC as KR, then the grade of it will be based on the number of issues resolved within this EPIC. Key results can have different types of results, number, percentage, or binary. You can use the JIRA issue view to see parent OKR for this JIRA issue, as well as edit it. For every objective and key result, you may set a custom weight. It can be used when not all goals are equal. A custom weight helps you to specify which ones are more or less important based on business impact. To change the custom weight, click on the custom weight button, then select manual management and set the required custom weight, and watch how the task impact changes. Let's have a look at OKR Explorer versus Alignment. To navigate through OKRs, you can use Explorer and Alignment tabs. It's a very convenient tool for seeing the whole structure of your OKRs. Explorer. It's a plain list of objectives with the ability to see nested items. Alignment. Shows all the aligned items as a tree. You can search by assignee, group, current grade, OKR type, or due date. All search results can be exported into an Excel file or shared with colleagues via a link or saved to use in the future. Roadmap View perfectly complements the OKR system to plan the execution of your strategy and meet the goals. Namely, the Roadmap helps create the cross-project portfolio roadmap with OKRs, visualize goals for the entire team across projects in JIRA, build a clear task hierarchy, display the time frame for specific tasks, the period mode determines whether a task is scheduled manually or automatically, and auto bottom-up period changes based on its nested items. Synchronization allows you to synchronize the due dates in your OKR roadmap with the corresponding JIRA task fields to receive notifications when OKR due dates are updated on a later date. When enabled, task synchronization is bi-directional and instant. For example, if you move an issue using the OKR roadmap, the start date and end date fields of your issue will be updated. Conversely, if you edit the start date or end date fields via the JIRA issue view, the issue changes will be updated and visible in the OKR roadmap. To better understand how teams and individuals work, you can use dashboards. Take more accurate and immediate action to make sure everything is on track. See which part of the cycle passed and how many days are left to achieve the goals. Search for OKR-related issues in JIRA with the most flexible way through JQL, JIRA Query Language. The plugin offers aliases in the OKR namespace and provides an intuitive way to use JIRA's advanced search features. These aliases are first-class citizens in JIRA, can be used in filters or dashboards. Link many JIRA issues to OKRs with JQL in one click. Our platform consists of a set of RESTful APIs that allow you to quickly and easily integrate the platform with your BI applications. Go to Settings, select the API Token section, and create an API token. Start with our documentation to learn about the most common API uses. Go to Support, then select Our Guide and FAQ. Here, you'll find all the necessary info that you may need in the process. The OKR Board app has a 30-day free trial period. You can start a free trial to see if the app is right for you. To start, find the OKR Board app in the Altassian Marketplace, then click to install it. 
Thanks for watching this video. Get your free trial account right now and grow your business like never before.